Hello, my name is Benjamin, and you are watching Sunday Fun Day. All right, what we're going to be doing today is um, patching together something new um, because I just want to get into uh, not only going through uh, the Euro React library, but also um, I want to get into a couple things, bit crushing and learning how, or not really necessarily learning, but just toying around with how, um, you know, that can make things sound. And also just modulating things with regard to bit crushing and other effects uh, over time. And the best way to do that is using envelopes. So we're just going to, let's hide the browser. I'm gonna patch together something kind of basic here. Um, let's go with a, let's actually go with a wavetable oscillator. And then, um, let's get a, just like bento box, uh, oscillator in here. And... Uh, let's go ahead and get a VCA pulled up since we know we're going to need this. Let's just kind of pull a number of modules into the patch here and then uh, we'll go ahead and start patching things together. Um, so I like uh, this toy box envelope and VCA. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get this loaded here. And these can probably sit up here with the stereo out. That'll work. And uh, as far as filters are concerned, um, let's go ahead and get just kind of a basic filter section set up. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually just go with a Paul filter for today. I remember, you know, when I first started kind of messing around with reactor blocks and when this all first came out before we have, you know, the different packages now like blocks primes and base and whatnot. Um, this is part of the primes collection, uh, what's known as the primes collection now, but, uh, it's a beautiful, um, just, you know, gorgeous sounding, uh, filter. And so we'll go ahead and use this. Let's go ahead and get our audio cables, start getting these kind of patched together, since we know this is going to be the filter. Um, what I also want to do, and it may probably come before the filter, honestly, but what I also want to do is get a bit crusher in here, and I'm pretty sure there's one in the Euro React library, so let's see if we can find it. Ah, oh, there's a few. Okay, cool. Um, so effects, bit crusher, bit crusher stereo. I don't know if we necessarily need the stereo. Um, and I eventually want want to kind of work my way through trying out all of these. But for today, I really wanted to. I, I, I was pretty sure there's a bit crusher in here, and I, I really wanted to just kind of try around. Um, you know, just mess around with playing with this. Uh, if I have touched on this previously, it was very briefly because I don't really remember messing with it. So this will kind of be a first for me. Uh, so cool. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to take the left out of wavetable here. Let's go ahead and go in and let's go out of the bento. And then the envelope here is going to go ahead and control the VCA um, and some modulation. So I'm going to color it blue as far as the cables go. And then um, let's look at, okay, so the pitch here needs to go ahead and control 
I have uh, I have the I have my MIDI controller hooked up, so we're getting we're getting node in signal there, so that's good. And uh, now what we need to do is basically uh, start hearing some sound here. And I'm sitting there thinking, what's going on? Why can't I hear sound? The most important, one of the most important steps. All these steps are really important. There's not most important. It's the most important step right now because I forgot it. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, gate to gate. And um, yeah, we're going to use the gate signal from my note in to control the envelope. <laughs> That's really hot. That signal's hot as hell, so let's turn that down to a sensible volume. And let's try out, I wanted to kind of lower this just a touch and see how that does volume-wise. Just notice they're coming out really loud, so we'll try this and see how this goes. Okay, we don't have the bit crusher patched in yet. We have the uh, VCA module. And can go ahead and mute each signal. So that's the wavetable just by itself, or here's just the, the sign just by itself. Um, so let's go ahead and get this bit crusher situated in here as well. Um, I'm just going to keep this fairly simple for today. Um, I'd be able to put both of these down here. No, it looks like shat. So that was probably better the way I had it before. So um, just making stuff look a little bit pretty. And then let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's get it patched in here, the big crusher. So we're going to go out of the mix into uh, the bit crusher and then from there into the filter just to keep things simple for today. Okay, so now we're patched in. modulated, have an A and a B modulation uh, input here, obviously. <clears throat> and here you get your sample rate, controls the sampling rate of the algorithm. Here you get your bits, um, bits for float and a knit. This controls the number of bits used to represent the signal. For other modes, it generates a 16-bit integer to compare the input against. And then uh, you get your gain in, gain out times one times two controls whether the gain out control can act as an amplifier. Okay. So it looks like it just gives it a little extra juice. Offset adds a DC offset to input. 12 o'clock represents no DC. Lower values add a negative offset. So I'm not sure what that does. But it adds some. It, it kind of changes the changes the color of the uh, changes the timbre. It that's a fancy way in the synth world of saying I don't know what the fuck it does. Changes the tonal changes the sonic characteristic of what the fuck I'm hearing right now. That's what it does. Um, but. Uh, let's. I want to kind of dial in a somewhat cool uh, wavetable 
settings. So let's go ahead and mute the sign out for a minute. Let's go ahead and learn these X and Y positions. Have a pretty cool organ tone dialed in here. Monophonic, but still. All right, so I'm gonna title this the VCA envelope, but I actually need to get another envelope in here. Um, so let's go ahead and just add can add another one of these toy box envelopes that will work and I want to use this more of as a, a modulation right so um, this is about as pretty as this is gonna look this is no I can make that oh, much better there we go and then what I'm gonna do is patch this guy in we can really lose this clock too but everything is nice and kind of even looking so it's fine um, so I'm going to just use the gate signal again from the note in, and we're going to patch this into the envelope. So now we know this is getting some modulation. I want to like slow down the release on this to a couple of seconds, a few seconds, and play around with how this now can modulate whatever. So let's patch in some modulation signal just to the A import. A input, sorry. Well, that's actually, you know, not a bad term either because the in is, you know, where I'm headed and the port is where I'm aiming for this, this kind of, you know, electronic uh, computer hole for a digital cable. Um, it's called the port. So um, now we have everywhere in the synth pretty much it's receiving this envelope signal. What I want to mess with is how this can That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of pass, play him with a clean tone that bit crushes over time. That's what I wanted to get to. How would you do that? So if one were to ever ask, ask themselves that question, how would I get me a synth tone that bit crushes itself over time? Well, that's how you do it. You get whatever bit crusher you're working with, uh, and you control the envelope. Okay, so I'm starting out with a bit crush tone, and the envelope is basically opening it up so that it, um, so basically so that it uh, gets it to a clean sound, and then slowly gets it back to a bit crush sound.
Let's get some FM hooked up here too. This will be nice. Um, so we can, we can go out of the right here. It really didn't matter. But... Start with a zero FM tone and slowly increase. So we actually need to go the other way and go to a more clean tone. So start out, yeah, start out with basically start out with an, if if your goal is to go from a clean tone to an affected tone, then start out with affected. And then the envelope opens it up to a clean tone. So if you can set it up that way, that's what my goal is here too. So did what we set out to do for today. I'm actually going to save this guy when we get wrapped up here. This is a pretty cool sound. Um... get into playing with that more which i'm trying to find at this point i'm working on a, a skinny puppy cover and um trying to find sounds that i can use as samples basically sounds i can use as like stabs but synthesizing my own you know not um and there's nothing wrong with going to find you know the one shots or the different sounds that are built into machine or whatever you know library you have sample library that's cool but i want to you know what what industrial guys used to do and still do is is a combination of both using stock samples and creating your own samples as well in other words creating sam sounds within the world you know and using those within your song so i'm not really creating a sound within the world i'm in my reactor world but the same concept applies i'm creating my own sound creating my own samples and on that note until next time